Hi, this is Chris Carsonson here with CNO, Plaquemist News Online. I'm here with the Dean of Humanities, Bill Breer. How are you doing, Bill? Very well. Good to meet you. And yes. we're going to talk a little bit about the Big Read. It's a great event. Uh, it's actually started It started on the 1st of February, and it's going to run until the 18th of February. We've got a number of different events that are taking place on campus, and it should be a good event. How many people are you hoping will uh, come to this event, and uh, what kind of exposure does this event have to people around the school? I'm hoping one person comes. Um, I'm hoping a thousand people come. But the, the interesting thing is it's all about really asking, uh, trying to help people uh, read more. You know, that a, lot of, a lot of times you know, we talk here on campus about that uh, people just aren't reading as much. They get their news from the internet, from television, and so the big read is really to inspire people to pick up books and start reading. Is this the start of more literary events at school or is this a series that's been taking place? Uh, you know, it's we always have literary events at the school. The English department does a lot of different events, and so they usually run about one, once a month. This is kind of a big one because it involves a, a national event, and we're kind of connected into the art, the local art group, uh, the Oregon Action uh, Arts Alliance, that's doing it locally. So, but we always have events on campus, and this is just a pretty big cool. One. Now, when they choose these events, do they base the event off of a book, or how how is that done? Uh, you know, there's 12 books that have been selected by uh, the National Endowment of the Arts, and so places all across the country pick a different book, and it just happened that this uh, district got a grant, and they picked uh, Fahrenheit 451. So that was the book that they picked, and so the idea is to get every, everyone to read it. Tell me a little bit more about why this book was chosen for the Big Read. Well, this, it was actually chosen by the, uh, by the local arts council, and uh, they picked it because they thought it would be a good book that maybe uh, young young men would read too, because it's about firemen. Although, in this case, the firemen don't put out fires; they actually burn things. And so, you know, folks always like to have a good fire. So, uh, it it is uh, very interesting, very interesting that way. Now I understand there's a movie that goes along with the book, or there is. There's a movie that was made. I I think the movie was made in 1966 about the book. The book was actually written in the 50s, but it was it's, it was written as a futuristic tale. And so now in the world, it's kind of interesting to compare what happened with what this book thought might happen. It's kind of interesting because it was, in a bit, it was a little bit predictive of some things. In the 50s, they were kind of worried about TV taking over, books starting to disappear. And so um, Fahrenheit 451 is a little bit it's about the destruction of books, and so uh, the big read, we kind of chose it to talk about the fact that uh, a lot of people don't read much anymore, we're kind of getting our news and information from TV, so kind of an interesting choice. Now, how long is this event taking place? Uh, it kicks off today, today is the 1st of February, and it goes to the 18th of February. Uh, today we're having a uh, film, and so uh, I think by the time your viewers see this, uh, that'll that'll be done. Right. But we're, uh, we have a film and a speech by uh, John Frommeyer, who was a former director of the National Endowment of the Arts. And then on February 18th, a, a great event on campus that uh, is going to be a free speech event. And so over in the community center, we're going to have uh, the ability for students, for anyone, to step up to microphone and be able to speak freely about anything that's on their mind. Can you tell us a little more about the free speech event? Uh, it takes place on the 18th, February 18th, and it's uh, uh, it's going to be the opportunity if a person wants to get up and, and speak about really anything based on the uh, the First Amendment right in the Constitution, uh, they will be able to get up and talk, and and they'll have five minutes at the at the mic maximum to be able to speak their piece. So other colleges are involved in this event? This isn't just a CCC thing? This is we're, the, we're the college that's kind of sponsoring it and, and setting it up. I think other colleges may be doing different things, but the big, the big events are being held here. Uh, next week also, or two week, on the 18th, a, a great event, besides the free speech event over in the community center, is also um, uh, we're having an evening, uh, an evening, the debate team is going to be talking about, actually they're going to be talking about maybe we should just get rid of books. And so one side's going to say, yeah, maybe we should, and then tell all the reasons why, and then the other will argue, no, we need to keep books. And it's kind of based on the film, Fahrenheit 451. And then uh, we're actually going to have a theatrical book burning at the end of the evening, and that's on President's Day. So, it's, so the day is the free speech event, the night is this debate, uh, I'm going to talk about the First Amendment, 
and then a theatrical book burning. So it's quite a production that's being put together.